Let me highlight you church goers. Now I know there's some people animate about going to church. Oh, I, I got to go to church. It's Sunday. Tomorrow, oh, we're going to get a word. We're going to get a word. I got to go to church. You know, I got to go to church. I got to get my suit out of clear. Tell you, you got to get my, get, get my suit. Tell you, you get my suit out of clear. I got to go to the church tomorrow. Tomorrow, that's you know I get Everybody's animate about going to church. But you know what? We are the church. Yes, I know, I know, I know all you deep theologians. Oh, the bad, the say. I know Hebrews 10 to 25 has been there from the moment the Bible's been written on pages. Let me tell you something. We assemble ourselves to give God glory. For we know, the Bible lets us know in Revelation 4 and 11 that, you know, the Lord God alone is worthy of all the glory and the honor. For it is he who created all things for what? Not for our good pleasure, but for his good pleasure. We understand that. But it's time out for, for, for just going to church. We got to start growing the church. All these buildings and they're empty. What's going on? Where the church at? Where, where the church at, huh? What's going on? Something is wrong. There's been a disconnect. So I'm going to talk to all the churchgoers. All you churchgoers who are animate about church. I don't care if, if you you are in the fivefold. You can be an apostle, prophet, uh, evangelist, pastor, teacher. Let me make sure I don't miss nobody. You, you might be a, a deacon, a trustee, Sunday school superintendent, a usher, a church mother, a missionary. And I don't know what's with these missionaries. They wear the white all, all the time. But most of them don't even have a library card, let alone a passport. What mission are they going on? Are they just going on missions around the church house? Or are you on a mission for Jesus doing work in the community? I, I just want to know. I just want. I just want to know because it's a, it's a lot of people making money off of white clothes, and I'm thinking maybe I should open up a white store myself and sell some white clothes and them little pillow hats and little nurse shoes because you know businesses seem to be booming. Are you a missionary because God called you, or because somebody said, you know, you need to join a missionary? We need you. We got a seat for you, a nice cushion seat. Come on now. Are you really a missionary? What mission are you on? You ask yourself, I, that's your homework tonight. Ask yourself, what mission am I on? Am I really on a mission? Why am I a missionary? Hmm. Okay, let me go down my list here. Missionary, you might be an event coordinator, administrator, church secretary, um, the bishop, you know, you know, uh, the church, uh, the church uh, porter, uh, choir, uh, Praise team, the youth pastor, uh, musician, music ministry, my ministry, you know, popping ministry, pop locking ministry, hip hop ministry, uh, the pastor's favorite ensemble, I don't know. All the four mentioned, when I look at look at what I've seen all over the country, most of the guilty are wasting time. They waste their time, God's time, a lot of other people's time. Now, of course, out of all the people I just before mentioned, there are so many. Let me let you know, there's so many men and women of God who have answered the call of God in life. They're living with integrity. They're going forward. You know, and not just because there are a lot of people sitting in the pews and, and in the congregation that that means they're successful. Because it's easy to get a whole bunch of people in one place and, and everybody still be confused. The key is to get everybody all over the place with Jesus who's in one place at the same time and everywhere at the same time, knows everything all the time, you know, and really surrender to him. Just because you have a packed house don't mean that your ministry is successful. Hello, somebody. Success is when you're able to connect somebody with Jesus Christ and they surrender all to him and they seek him on their destiny and their purpose and they walk in it. Amen. Well, anyway... I know, I, and I know there's somebody who's probably saying, Man, that preacher, hey, young man, he just like everybody else. They always put the church down. Always put the church down. I'm tired of people putting the church down. No, my friend, this is not about putting the church down. This is about exposing the spirit, amen, that, that, that has held the church back. I'm talking about the real church. I assure you that uh, I'm not putting the church down. Uh, the true body of Christ, uh, which is really the church, you know, the global body of Christ, the real church, not the building. You know, I'm not talking about no building now. I'm talking about the true body of Christ. We can never be put down. Because when Jesus got up, we got up. Hello, somebody. I know that's right.